and Sinas Chinam, which is the antithesis of that Achdus and Shalom. It's interesting that the person who destroyed and plowed over Yerushalayim was Tunis Rufus Arosha. We know that Tunis Rufus Arosha also to Rabbi Akiva, if the Rabbon Shem loves Aniyim so much, how come he doesn't support them? And Rabbi Akiva told him, of course the Rabbon Shem could support Aniyim, but he wants the Ashirim to have the schus of doing that. Tunis Rufus Arosha didn't understand this concept of giving and taking and achtus and people who need to interact with each other for the, to be a shleimistika world. The whole idea of shalom, shleimus, is only when people interact and people give and people take and the takers sometimes are givers and the givers are sometimes takers and everybody has something to contribute towards the shleimus of everybody because nothing is perfect except the Rabbana Shalom. And perfection is only when many, many things come together in Achtus to create that kind of perfection that exists in all levels. The physical world, nothing can do everything itself, needs to be connected to other things and interact with other things. Socially, no one profession or one occupation could date the world. If everybody would be doctors, we'd have a very a very uh, healthy world, but nobody would take out the garbage. And if we everybody was garbage collectors, we'd have a very clean world who would, who would take care of the sick. So you need all the occupations and all the professions to be there, to be perfection. In the spiritual world too, no one could ever keep Tariq Mitzvahs. It's only together, Kohanim, Levim, men, women, everybody together can have Tariq Mitzvahs. And therefore, Ava is the idea of Chibor, is connection. And Sina is the idea of things being separated. And Sina Shinam, the worst Sina Shinam is in the heart, because that's where we really are connected. We're separate when it comes to physical. But spiritually, we're all one Neshama. And if there's Sina Shinam, Sina Balev, Sisna Sachicha Bilvavecha, that's where it harms the most. The Chafetz Chaim says that Sina Shinam and Lashon Hara are basically the same thing. If you look at the tikkun for Lashon Hara, you can understand what the causes of Lashon Hara are. Bodad Yeshev, person speaks Lashon Hara and he has sina and tainas on other people because he doesn't know how to interact with other people. He doesn't realize he needs other people and they need him. And therefore we put him, in, put him into solitary confinement and he'll see how bad it is to be separated from other people. The God of Frum has to tear his clothing. Clothing is a sign of covet of a person. People sometimes can't relate to other people, speak Lush and Hara, and have seen Ashina because they feel they're covet. Their gaiva is affected. Because their uh, their pride is hurt. Or because of Kina, because they're looking uh, somebody else has more covet than them. Tomei, Tomei, Yikra. People are not don lekatschus. They see only the good about themselves and only the bad in other people. So therefore we tell the Baal Lashon Hara, Tomei, Tomei, Yikra. You tell people you're Tomei. Don't look and see how my other people are Tomei. Look at your own chesronos. And if you'll understand that you're a Baal Chesor and you won't look for other people's chesronos either. Be'al sofam yate. Cover up your mouth. A lot of times, Sina Shinam and Lashon Hara come because people feel that whatever they think is right and they don't put any, anything about the right away they write, speak. Today, again, with emails, you don't even have to talk. You can get to hundreds of people without to, just with saying ridiculous things and writing it down. And once it's gone, it's gone. People who think that they know everything and they are right and nobody else could be. Uh, not don other people the katzchos, don't try to see the whole picture. Right away, say what's on their heart, lead to terrible sinashinam and terrible lashon hara. Rosho parua, 
person sometimes speaks Lashon Hara and has seen a Shinam because he's too concerned about his Gashmias. Things make too much of a difference if this one uh, took away this that belongs to me and this one took that away that belongs to me. The Rambam says that the Yisod of the Isra of Osiko Velositor don't take revenge when it comes to physical material things. Ask somebody to loan me his lawnmower, he doesn't loan it to me. I go to Sears and buy another lawnmower. Next day he comes and says, you know, my lawnmower got broken. Can I borrow yours? I tell me, you out of your mind? I only bought a lawnmower because you wouldn't loan me yours yesterday. You're not going to get mine. That's called Nakima. You're not allowed to do that. Even if I don't do that, I say, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll loan you my lawnmower. I'm not like you who don't loan people lawnmowers. That's Natir. It's also awesome. Says the Rambam, what's the Yisod of this? The Yisod is you don't have that much time or that much brain space to waste on remembering who loaned your lawnmower or not. There's more important things in this world to worry about. And people who take to heart every narish kite, right, and think it's important enough to remember and then to take revenge on, so you're gonna be a miserable person. They're more important than these things to worry about than all these trivial things in the world. There's, there's a time to take Nakama talk on important things, but not on trivial things. So Rosho Ye Parua, don't worry about your haircut, don't worry about how you look so much. And that'll also lead to the tikkun of Lashem Hora and Sinas Chino. Akamsa Bar Kamsa Chor of Yerushalayim. Yet the Gemara says other things there. Ashrei Odom Afachei Tomid. And it says, An Vesanuso Shorev Zechari Ben Afkulis Hichrevis Beteinu. They're all part of the Kamsa Bar Kamsa, but it seems not to be connected. On the one hand, it's because Ashri Yodim Afache Tomit, and then it's because of the Sinashchinam and the Bush of Bar Kamsa, and then it's because of Rav Ben Afkulis didn't want to be mad to them to bring the carbon because I'm Fitzanuso. Now the idea is they all go together. When is the Shaykh Lashon Haran Sinashchinam when people don't see the whole picture? Everybody just sees their little thing. Everybody has their clicks. Says a kamsu bar kamsu harvu shalai. What is what did kamsu do? He didn't even get to the party. He just wasn't invited by the stake. What did what are you blaming him? We have to put his name in the Gemara. Kamsa, right? Forget about kamsu. It was bar kamsu. Now the fact that people can have friends who they invite and people they don't invite, that in itself is part of the sorrow. Sorry is these cliques and everybody has their little clique and that's all they see is their friends and their way and their thing and their politics. And they don't see the whole bigger picture. They can't see other people and other sides of the of the Indian. So that's the that's a kamsa bar kamsa. They're not mafache tomit. Asher mafache tomit means that he knows his limitations. He can't see everything. He can't be everything. He needs other people. He needs chizik. If you don't think you need chizik, you're okay to yourself. You can rely on yourself. Al tamin ba'atzmachad yom moscha. So that leads to these kinds of things where everybody only sees their own little clique. They're happy to be with, with, with their little thing and they don't need a chizuk from the outside. And that was Zachary ben Afkulis too. He was on the Sanusa. All he saw was what was right in front of him. He didn't realize the implications. What's going to cause the tzibur? What are going to be the repercussions of this? All the same Adeira. Small-mindedness. Being able only to see what's right in front of you, what's your interest, your friends, your politics, your shita, and not to be able to see the whole picture. That's our kamsa, our kamsa, chor of Yerushalayim. Mitz Hashem, if we understand the importance of kehilas, of a tzibur, of not just looking for ourselves, and thinking that we can exist with our own limited position, we need to be able to be bigger than that and see the bigger picture. And that way we can be part of a kehila and part of a tzibur and part of a klal yisra. And if we do that, we misabble a little bit on the korbanos of kehilas. That's what this this kina speaks about. The korban of the kehilos of, of uh, Shum. Shapira, Vermaiza, Magensa, in the time of the crusade. And we extend that to the Khurban of the Kehilas in our time during the uh, Khurban of European Jewry. If we understand how terrible it is that Kehilos, 
kehilas are destroyed and we understand the importance of creating kehilas and being part of kehilas and not only living for ourselves with our own limited vision but being able to rely and see a bigger picture of Klal Yisrael, of a Klal, then Amir Tzashem will be Zohar to have the ultimate Klal. Binyan Bayis HaGodl V'HaKadosh Mehev Yom.